All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostle, Elders, Great Millstone, Ruel. Peace and salutation to all the Akim that's pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, Shalom. That's your brother Tazman Debar coming back through the spirit power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh And through the spirit, man, I wanted to do a lesson basically going in on the remnant and how the Lord is already, how, how he's always reiterating the how the remnant will be saved, how the remnant will turn back and repent, man. It's all about the remnant of the nation of Israel when you read throughout the scriptures, man. And I just want to grab scriptures on the Lord willing to say edifying lesson through the spirit, man. And I'm just jump straight into it. This is the book of Second Edge, chapter 9, verse, uh, I started verse 20. So I considered the world and behold, there was a pearl because of the devices that were come into it. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. And that grape of a cluster is talking about what that remnant of the nation of Israel. Let's keep going. In verse 22, let the multitude perish, which was born in vain. That multitude is representing the two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. He said, let the multitude perish, which was born in vain and let my grape be kept and my plant for with great labor, I have made it perfect, man. And that's talking about what? The elect, that remnant, man. It said, with great labor, I've made thee perfect, man. Acceptable man, if this, uh, we're going through the furnace of adversity, man, that the elect, man. I mean, real quick, it's talking about that cluster, right? This is the book, Isaiah chapter 65, verse, uh, verse 8. Thus says the Lord, as a new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, destroy it not. It's talking about that new wine found in the cluster, right? And it says, for is a blessing in it. So will I do for my servants' sakes that I would not destroy them all. And that's talking about what? The elect is in that, what, in that, that cluster, man. And it said that new wine was found in a cluster and one said, man. And that's talking about the elect, man. And real quick, like I said, I'm just bringing out scriptures just basically Backing up how the Lord has always said that he was going to what he's going to redeem the elect in these last days. This is the book of Micah, chapter five, and verse seven, because the Lord, he, he's not going to destroy all the, uh, the, the Israelites. He's only coming back for the elect of the nation of Israel, with that small remnant, because you got to understand, though, the nation of Israel says what the sand of the sea. Let me keep going. As, as it says in Hosea 1 and 10, this is Micah chapter 5, verse 7. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as the dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass that tarried not for man or waited for the sons of man. So at a remnant of Jacob, a remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of, of many people. And you seeing that, man, that group, that remnant is on the highways and hedges on, on the midst of many people pushing the word, man. That remnant is the one that's returning, repent, and doing what the Lord said, commanded to do, man. That remnant, that's what the Lord's coming back. He's coming back for the remnant, man. That's all this is about. It's about the story of the Lord coming and and delivering the remnant out of out of this uh out of this captivity, man. This last captivity. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter five. Because <laughs> the Lord, He always left a remnant. He always left a remnant, man. This is the book of chapter Ezekiel chapter five, verse five. Thus said the Lord Power, there is Jerusalem and I have set in the midst of many nations and in countries that are round about her. And that's talking about the nation of Israel that's been scattered amongst all the nations, man. That, and you see that now, man, that remnant and is scattered amongst all many people, as we just read in Michael 5 and 7, man. This is uh, Isaiah 1 and 9. Let me see. I said, the Lord hosts have left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been at Sodom and should have been like unto Gomorrah, man. Because why? The, 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 it's, when you go into the top of this chapter, talk about how Israel is in a very state of mind, man. Just doing things according to the flesh, man. And how the Lord said, what? We should have been at Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Especially the times of approaching, man. How the Lord is already visiting this place with different various plagues and how this place is on its way out. We should have been at Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Because you got to understand what's coming to the place, man. The ICBM missiles. Hey, man. That's why the Lord said he left a remnant. Cause man, when these missiles hit, it's going to hit everything on this on uh this this far of the uh, the western hemisphere is going to be it's going to be it's going to be bad out here, man. It's going to be bad. It's the book of Isaiah chapter ten, verse twenty one. Isaiah chapter ten, verse twenty one. 
21. And it shall come to pass in that day that a remnant of Israel and as, as much as escape of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. And that's what you're seeing. You're seeing that great remnant on amongst all the nations that's scattered amongst the midst of all nations on the highways and hedges, pushing forth the gospel and the testimony of Yahweh Shah, and I stand upon him that smote them. That's talking about Esau Edom, man, and these heathen nations round about us, man. Come on, man. We just read in Ezekiel 5 and 5 how we're in the midst of amongst all these other nations. But the Lord is bringing out a remnant amongst these people, man. That remnant is the one that's doing the work of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Let's read it again. Isaiah 10 and verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote him. You seeing it? You seeing it, brothers on the highways and hedges. Like it says, Yah, I shall see our teachers. Isaiah 30 and 20. And they stay upon who? Esau Edom. We're not trusting on Esau Edom. He's the goddamn devil. And it says, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. And that's what you're saying. We're putting our trust in Yahweh Bashem al Shai. We return and repent and acknowledge our offense and return to Yahweh Bashem al Shai. That's where our trust is. Known. That's where our foundation is. That's where our faith is. Verse 21. The remnant shall return, even to the remnant of Jacob, and to the mighty power. And that's what you're saying. The remnant shall return. The remnant of the nation of Israel is the only ones that's, that's actually not acknowledging their offense and crying out to the Lord to save them in these last days. But doing what? Doing Showing forth their faith by their works. The remnant's doing it, man. Not all Israel's are Israel. Because you got to understand, two-thirds of the nation of Israel have to pay forth their judgment because they're wicked, man. They don't want to take heed. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 25, verse 3. Let me see. Shalaki, Jeremiah 23. <coughs> Jeremiah 23 and verse... I start at verse... 3. I start at verse 3. And I will gather my remnant of my flock out of the countries where I have driven them and will bring them again to thy foes. And that's what you're seeing. Yahweh Shemel Shah is grabbing up the remnant where he has driven them. You see, got brothers across the pond and in, in Europe and in Australia and various other places around the world doing the what? Pushing the gospel. And that remnant, man. The remnant is scattered, dispersed. You read about the disperse in the book of Ezekiel 36 and 19, how we disperse amongst the heathen. The Lord dispersed. He scattered amongst the us amongst the heathen because we was in a heathen, next, a heathen mind state, man. But the remnant is returning and repenting, man. That's what Paul was doing. He was going out and talking to the remnant, the ones that are acknowledging the offense and coming back into serving the Lord. Just like in the book of Acts, this is every hey, the things that's written for time is written for our learning. The same ones that we always acknowledge the offense and turn to repent is right back in that same stead, man. Like I said, a ghost standing in our light in the last days. In the book of, I think in the book of Daniel, 12 and the last verse, like 13. Read it again, Jeremiah 23 and 3. And I will gather my remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them. It's talking about the nation of Israel, not spurs amongst the other countries. And will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase, man. And that's what you're seeing, man. The Lord is doing what he's He's bringing us out of that mind state of, of being a damn nigga and of being a, a mind state of being a Gentile. We're coming back in the mind state of kingdom minded by what? Worship Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And coming back and serving with sincerity and truth, man, the best of our ability. While we're in captivity, man. This is the book of Ezekiel 6. And verse 8. Yet I will leave a remnant that may have some that shall escape the sword amongst the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries. So the Lord is going to leave that remnant. That, that amongst all these heathen nations that may escape the sword. They said that shall escape, escape the sword among the nations, man. Because we understand a great wrath is coming down, but the Lord is coming back to do what? To redeem the remnant amongst these heathen nations, man. That's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to lift up that standard. Real quick, the book of Romans 11 and verse 1. I say then, have you how will cast away his people? God forbid, I, I, I am also an Israelite from the seed of Abraham, from the tribe of Benjamin. And this is the beloved Apostle Paul speaking. He's an Israelite. He's a citizen of what? Rome. And it says, Yahweh have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. And these Christians try to use that. Oh, he just, he's cast away his people. He's not with him no more. No, man. No, man. Uh, he, 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 he's, he's, he's always been with his people, man. 
And he says, Yeah, I will not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye know what the scriptures say of Elias, how he make intercession to Yahweh against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed my prophets and dig down their altars, and I am left alone, and they shall seek my life. But what say will answer Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself even 7,000 men who will not bow the knee to the image of Baal. And that's talking about the remnant, man. That's talking about the remnant in these last days, man. The things that are written for our learning was written for our, for the things that are written for time was written for our learning. And that's what you're seeing, man. That remnant is right back in that same lot, doing the same thing, not not worshiping these idols, letting these idols go, not believing in the so-called white man and this government and this system, and not bowing down to the image of Baal, man, which is what? This beast system, man. Because everybody's complying to the beast system without without even knowing it, man. That's why the scripture says, Blesses your eyes to see and your ears to hear. The remnant had the eye sound of oil to see within this madness. Because when you go to Isaiah 16, 13, 16 2, it says these people are what in gross darkness. So the remnant are the ones that the Lord is dealing with that he blessed them with his name to what? To get out of that mind state of being a heathen, man, and come back and serve him in truth and sincerity, man. And it says, verse, uh, verse 5, even so then this present time also, there is a remnant according to election of grace. So it's a remnant according to election of grace. That's what predestination, predestination. Predestined, like it says in Jeremiah one and five, before that was in that bell. Let me real quick. I want to butcher, cause the, cause it's all about the election, man. Jeremiah one and five, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So before he come, before he became in the womb, when he was in that spirit, the Lord knew him. But the Lord brought him back on earth to do what? Play out his lot. But he was always part of what the election. It says, before I formed thee, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And ordained thee to be a prophet amongst the nations, man. Ordained thee to be a prophet amongst the nations. So the Lord already ordained Jeremiah in the spirit to come down here and be a prophet. Come on, man. This is the Lord's movie, man. And it's all about the election, predestination. Let the multitude perish, which was born in vain. The elect has always been Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. You gotta understand that. You gotta understand that, man. And this is, let me real quick. Revelation 11 and 13. And that same hour was there a great earthquake and the tenth part of the city fell. And it's talking about the nuclear missile, the tenth part of the city represents America. When you go into the FEMA regions, they're breaking down the Roman numerals, how they have America broken down in the FEMA regions. And then it says, it says, in the earthquake were slain 7,000 men, that represents completion, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to Yahweh of heaven. Their power of heaven. So, hey, the remnant was a frightening because the remnant is going to be one that's going to be saved in these last days. Even some's going to, you know, be martyrs for the word, but they're going to, you know, they're going to go, they're going to be the first ones that's going to come back. So, because they what? Your works follow. Your works is not in vain. So, hey, this is hey, this all about the remnant, the election, the predestination. This is what this is about. The ones that's always been following you, how about you, Shah, from the beginning, man? Let's grab that and I end it. One of my favorite scriptures. This is the book of Sirach. It's so like Sirach 36. I started first to 14. Fill Zion with the unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. And that's what you're seeing, man. The prophets are doing it. Give testimony to those that which I have possessed from the beginning. See, from the beginning, the prophets have always been the Lord from the beginning. And it says, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. So the prophets always knew the Lord's name. And it was going to come a time that it was going to, the Lord was going to do what? In the book of Jude, I will bring you back to remembrance because you once knew this. And he says, reward them that wait for thee and let the prophets be found faithful. So that's what you're seeing in the last days. I brought to Zai, we Lord's men. The prophets are being found faithful because why? They're doing the work. Showing their faith by their words, man. And that's what this is about, man. It's all about the remnant and the election. And you seeing that, man. 
So, Lord willing, this is a quick lesson through the spirit power. Yeah, how about you, man? I just wanted to do a lesson on the remnant. That's what this is about. This movie, which is this, the spirit of the Lord, <laughs> this is about the remnant in these last days, man. The remnant, the true brotherhood, the true judges that will be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. That's what this is about, man. And, and Lord willing, we know, man, this is why we're out here fighting for our crown, man. Fighting for our incorruptible crown. Because this, hey, we're trying to be found worthy to stand for the day of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. And so with that, I want to say, call Halayim La, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, Bashim Kakudash, double honest to one, possibly the elders of great millstone of Ruel. Peace and salutation on the Akim pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom on Akim.